Yeah, yeah, y'all already know what it is, Music on MTV. Y'all can go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Music on MTV. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Music I Am TV, and also subscribe to the YouTube channel, Latino Battle League. Latino Battle League, y'all already know what it is, man. Salute to everybody that support me, the Jones, A-Hat, the Counselor, uh, uh, Brother Jeff, Westside Noise, man, the list goes down, man. Y'all already know. Today, I'm about to get this exclusive interview from an MC. An MC, not no MC battler, uh, 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 MC this. No, 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 no. Hip-hop MC, official. I'm about to get Richie B Unruly up in here. Oh, if y'all don't know who he is, he is the son of the counselor from 16 Bars Battle League. We're going to get right into this. I'm bringing him right in because this is exclusive. Richie B. Unruly, let the world know who you are and where they can find you at on the social network. Yeah, well, go on, well, go on. You can find me on Facebook at Richie B. Unruly. Twitter and Instagram, Jen Rummy, G-Y-N underscore R-U-M-M-Y. Got my SoundCloud and my Dat Piff. Search up Richie B or Richie B on Ruli. You'll find me right there. Got my project, my first project, actually. I released out in August called The Next Generation. So currently I'm working on some new stuff for y'all. Y'all, y'all see that soon. Okay, but, that's what's up. Working on some music. Um, Where you originally from, Richie B? I'm actually from Kingston, Jamaica. <laughs> Um, ended up was there for pretty much a little more than half my life, about thirteen years. Ended up moving out to New York with my pops. Well, yeah, I know him as the counselor for Sixteen Bars Battle League. Um, lived to live with him for a while, and then what? I've been I moved to I just recently moved to Columbus, Ohio. So I've been out here for about a year and a half now. Hmm. Okay. Um. You do music, of course. When did you start doing music, and how long you been doing music? Truth be told, I tell you, I tell you a funny story about it. The reason why I never start, I can't even sit here and tell you like, yeah, you know, I just started, or oh, I've been doing this my whole life like everybody else has. I actually just always been writing. Like that English has just been one of my favorite classes for so long. So I always free write. I used to write poetry in my free time, but I never told nobody that because I felt like people would call me soft for that. You feel me? So I'd like I did any type of free writing. I just either used to freestyle too. You know, back then I read some of my old stuff, and I used to say to myself, "Damn, I was trash," but I just I just did it just because. And but that's then, where you know, come from. Yeah. That's and where you come from. Why, that's your start. Go ahead. The reason why? The reason why I even started music? Cause one day I ain't gonna lie, we was having a safe. Me, and my me and my homie Joey, he's in charge of him and my my closest friend Joey. He's in charge of something called a higher content. It's a it's a little blog spot. But we, mm-hmm. we were just sitting there siphoning, me and him and my other man's Nino, we was all freestyling or whatever. And I don't know, like, they, we was, they, they inspired me because I, I used to be like, yo, why aren't y'all signed? Because I have a good ear for music. Mm-hmm. And then it seemed like it got reciprocated for on my end. And then my boy Joey's actually the one who, who motivated me and said, yo, take it serious because I could really get forward. And so I'm like, yo, you know what, bro? You wouldn't steer me wrong. So I, I started putting the time and effort into it. I even got um one of my other boys, Mike Fraser, like he, he told me like, yo, I have like some of the lyrics that I've used, like I have some of the most amazing wordplay he's ever heard. I'm like, yo, shit like that is inspiring to hear. That's right. So it's I motivation. And it's serious, yeah. So I just got on my grind, put out a tape. I know a lot of people was put doing music but they weren't putting in the work and I in like a good amount of time, like I gave myself a deadline. I mean, I had my setbacks, but I got my tape out. A lot of people wasn't doing that, but it's like, nah, I'm trying to work towards something. One thing right. with me is, anything I do, I try to be the best at it. I try to be great. Not half ass right. or nothing. It's only right, bro. Um, Richie B. Unruly, that's definitely good to know. You know, let the fans know what you're more about. You know what I'm saying? What um inspires you and gives you the motivation to do your music? Um, truth be told, like, just life inspires me, bro. Like, everything in life, because it's like you got to find enjoyment in everything you do. Like, you got to be around good vibes. Like, the the people around you, if you have people mm-hmm. dragging you down, 
Like, that's only going to bring you down. When you're around people that's trying to do stuff for themselves and can also know, like, they know how to have fun and they still have that creative side in them, I guess you could say that inner child still, like, it brings out it brings out a lot out of you. And it's like, like, just me making my music, people always ask me, how do I make my music? Like, it's really not a hard process for me. If I hear a beat and I like it, it makes me feel, as soon as it makes me feel a way, I write how it makes me feel. Right, but, like, right. It's really a simple process, and I, I draw from my experiences with people because one thing, like, I, as you know, like, uh, one thing I always said about my pops, this dude knows everybody and their moms. And mm-hmm. this is like, I, I guess I gain, I gain that from him because it's like, like, I don't know, I'm just a good people person, you feel me? So it's like, I like having experiences with people I meet and anyone, right. and I like, I like, I cherish that. I cherish whoever's around me, whoever I met in my life, any experiences I made. So it's like, I could, I could put it back in my music, and who knows, I could help somebody else that's going through some stuff because I know we all mm-hmm. been through something. That's right. I know that's right, man. Um, You being an MC. You know, you already got a character. You know, you, you know. I always say, once you transform, transform into becoming something in this world, an artist or anything, you already getting looked at as a character. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you already this person. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, I, I'm such and such with my government, but now people are looking at me like, oh shit, I'm an MC. You feel right, me? Right. So there's always ways on how to carry yourself. As a, as an MC, you know, because now people looking at you like, oh, he's an artist. He's not just anybody. Oh, he's somebody. He's an artist. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's 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 what's up. Um, how you take criticism? I love it. Like people always like one thing with me. I, I tell this to people that I work with at my job. I say this to my friends. I say this to people who I give advice to. Like, and you could take a negative, any negative that's thrown at you, you can turn it into a positive. You feel me? You like, let's say you get fired from a job. Ah, yeah, you down on some money, but that gives you time to pursue something else. You tell me that you don't like my music. I don't just sit there and say, oh, well, damn you, you a hater. Uh, nah, I say, all right, now you're one of my goals now. I have to make sure I make a song that's going to grab you and, and reel you in into the um the core fan base now. I have to make you like my music now. You say, yo, I didn't like this or that and this and that. All right, if I feel like I agree with you, yo, I'm going to change it. If I feel like, nah, you feel me, I, I like it this way because it's organic, you feel me? I say, all right, I'm still going to keep it this way, but the next amount of songs I make, I'm going to keep in mind what you told me just mm-hmm. to develop my art even better. Right, right. So I always talk. It's funny because I got, it's too, I even got to the point where, like, I've seen so much people lie to their friend's face like yeah this this is dope yeah i like this song yeah yeah and then it's like they know damn well it's trash they and they they will they'll admit it to everyone else but not the person that asked for the critique so i always ask them i tell them yo tell me straight up yo if you don't like it you think it's trash let me know you feel you tell me your negative critiques i don't want to hear it's good i feel like my work is good you tell me it's trash let me know what the worst thing you could tell me right now and then usually i don't really get that but when i do get it i love it because I'm like, yes, this is what I was looking for. It's right. going to make me better. Mm-hmm. Correct me if I'm I'm wrong. Criticism, Um, how should I put it? Criticism either can be taken in a good way or a bad way, right? And then another thing, correct me if I'm wrong. Criticism comes with hip-hop, right? That's a fact to both. If you If you can't take criticism, I always say, what you in it for? What you in it for? You feel me? Like, because people are going to give criticism. People are going to criticize. You know, there's some artists that you can't criticize, you know, because, oh, immediately, oh, my God, they're about to turn fucking goony goon goon on you or something, you know, gremlin style, you know what I mean? Because you can't base uh, uh your opinion or something like that. You know, me, I just be straight up. I base my opinion, you know. No matter what, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? If you can't take it, I feel like you don't belong in the hip hop game. Yeah. But um, everyone's entitled to an opinion. A- exactly. Um, Richie, be unruly. Um, what makes you different? Yo, honestly, that that right there is is the biggest cliche that I hate 
dealing with. I don't try to I don't try to prove myself as different. I don't mm-hmm. try to sit there and tell anybody, yeah, I'm different. Like I even see like even females complain about that with relationships. Like, oh, every guy claims they're different. Every artist claims they're different. I'm not doing any of that because it's like if you if you are different, it's gonna show in who you are, your character, your art, your craft. Anything you do is just gonna show. So it's like I'd rather be told that I'm different by other people instead of me saying, yeah, you know what, this is what makes me different, and I'm different, and yeah, watch me. Right, right, right. Because, you know, a lot of people try to be different and this and that. What happens is they fall out of character sometimes instead of keeping that uniqueness in them, you know? Yeah. Um, Richie B. Unruly, do you associate with the fans? Like when the fans hit you up, you know, oh, yeah, do you act I Hollywood do. or you hit them back, nah. you know? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even like Hollywood people, honestly, because it's like... Yeah, some people think they're 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 too big of a shit that you feel me. Flies can't even still be around them. Me, nah. I'm talking to everybody. I love I love interacting with people. I love being social. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I have like little introverted ways where I want to be by myself. But who doesn't? Like, but most for the most part, I like being around people. I hate just being to myself all the time. Like, I love being around love. So if you show me love, I'm showing you love right back. Right, right. Um. Richie Beyond Unruly, what what um what inspirement words do you got for another artist that's doing the same thing as you? Work, don't stop working. Don't let anybody kill your dream. Don't let anybody stop you from what you know you know is yours and belongs to you. Like they said, man, like the God said it himself, man, everything in the garden is yours. Mm. No one can tell you only one tree belongs to you. Everything is yours. Mm Mm-hmm. Facts. Now, you come... I I, 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 got to put it like this. You come from a bloodline of of hip-hop, totally. And not only hip-hop, but battle rap, too. I'm not saying you, but you are a part of battle rap. I should put it like this. Your dad... Correct me if I'm wrong. Your dad is... Um, the counselor from 16 Bars Battle League, right? Yes, sir. Do you like battle rap yourself? Yeah, facts. I, yo, the punchlines, that's that's one thing that helps me get my music better. I mean, battle rap is also entertaining for me because it shows how witty a person could be. Mm. Who's who's one of your favorites, you know, if you do got one? My, one of my favorites? No, no, it's a, it's a few of them. It's a few of them. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I at first, like, it's been a while. I said I haven't watched it in like a year since I've been so focused. But last time I was watching it, I was fucking with Charlie Clips. I was fucking with Goods. Iron Solomon was real. Mm, I feel like yo, there's one person I'm missing, but I can't remember the name right now. Oh, oh, what's this dude's name, B? Some the light skin cat. He was real. You talking about hollow, hollow the dog? Hollow the dog. Oh. <laughs> he nice. He nice, and he, he that. That's what's up. Um, Rich, be, Rich. Besides your dad's battle league, sixteen bars battle league. What other battle leagues do you watch? Um. You know, I never really paid attention to the names. I just kind of just looked at the videos. But, mm. like, the only name that really stood out to me, I remember, was probably Loaded Lux's joint, the the um, the Lions Den. Oh, wow. Dope. Dope. Yeah. And oh, then, yeah. And then I realized that oh, yeah. um, since talking to you, like, I realized that you had your own league yourself. So I was like, all right, that's something I definitely got to check out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely got the Latino Battle League. But, you know. I I really appreciate your support, but I always say I always say this: it's not about us, you know. It's about you guys, you know. So it's very important for the fans and for the people that support for us to keep doing what we're doing, you know what I mean? Like, cause I appreciate what you're doing. Like right now, I'm on the phone with you and I'm doing this interview with you, but I'm inspired by you because y'all give me the motivation to do what I do. You feel me? Right. Um. How you feel about hip hop itself? Right now? Yeah. To be to give you the full and blunt honest truth, mm-hmm. I feel like right now it's watered down. Like mm. 
I feel like honestly, I like I like the underground game so much better than than the industry right now because it seems like the people in the industry that are actually putting out wholesome music from the heart mm-hmm. or anything that could inspire anybody or anything that could enlighten anybody, like people are looking down on it and the stuff that that they're putting out that can, you know, basically cause, that's detrimental to people's mental, their mind, or cause them to to want to act out on negative ways and not come together as, like, a community, as a unit. It's like right. they, they're promoting that more, and people are, like, they're going along with it. So it's like, you know, I hear people say all the time, yeah, I miss old Kanye, because Kanye was the one that went against that stuff. People saying, yo, I miss old Jay. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, like they still fuck with Jay now. You feel me? Like there's a lot of artists. They say these people fuck with Kendrick now because of look at the message he's he's spreading. But I'm pretty sure at first when they were starting out, no one wanted to hear all that. They rather hear all the yeah, I got the gun and I'm gonna kill you and this that and the third. So it was like one thing I'm here. Like I even have a video out right now called The Change where it's like I'm thinking of I'm meditating to myself on things like this. You feel me? And that's what I'm here for is to inspire a change. Like. You gotta mm-hmm. start showing love to everyone. You feel me? Like everything is our art itself. Don't get me Dude. wrong. If you really yeah. live that type of life and that's your music you putting out, yo, I can respect that because that's really you. But a lot of people out here putting out music that doesn't reflect who they are at all. So it's like, why? Why spread lies when when the truth is so much more um like so much more fruitful? Mm. All right. I want to ask you a question. Um. Do you use like yourself? I mean, like I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this: Do you, do you use yourself independently to promote your, um, your identity yourself, or do you like, um, actually take part off from your dad? Because you know your dad is known. You know, do you promote your music? Through yourself or like through him? Truth be told, if if he does promote me, then that's that's because of his that's from his own free will. Right. Like usually, because I'm like I even tell myself like, and I will promote him just off my own free will. Like we the none we none of us as I guess as men we don't really ask each other for help. We just kind of focus on our own thing. So it was like, um, I, I kind of just promote myself, and then whoever, whoever you know, supports me is going to do it on their own. Because one thing, I, I don't feel as if I should f- I have to force my music on anyone. If you right. like, you like it and you want to support it, then go for it. If I like your stuff, I'm going to do the same. And that's just how it should be. Like, I'm not going to, you don't see, you don't see people saying, hey, hey, I have something I'm trying to sell you. Yo, hey, where are you going? I'm not going to let you leave this room until you buy this. Nah, because that's not going to get you anywhere. I'd rather yeah. just sit there, like, and you know, hey, I have something to offer you. Would you be interested? Oh yeah, I would like to. Yeah, let me see what you're talking about. All right, cool. You like it? All right, stick with it. Then you'll tell your friends. Oh, all right. So you really, you really run off your own identity. You don't try to run off like your dad's identity on who he is and stuff like that. No, nah, everybody has their own thing going on for them. Mm. That's definitely good to hear, man. Definitely good to hear, man, because it's very, you know, um important you know to actually you know like we was talking earlier you know it's about branding yourself and promoting yourself you know and all doing it like all yourself you know no matter who you got around you you know it's like you got to go out to do it yourself you know and that's very very important to be um an independent talking about that would you like to um get signed or be independent I've been at I've been at odds with that question myself because it's like I feel like I could get signed but you know you could I'd rather have my I'd rather work and and build up my own organization but at the same time being signed does come with its benefits in some cases but sometimes it does kind of play against the artist so it's like why not just build up on something myself I mean you know if if the day comes where I actually say you know what I'm in a position to make a choice and one could benefit more than the other, then that's when I'll, I'll you know, I'll grab the bull by the horns. But for right now, I'd rather just stay independent. Because, like, what can they do for me that I can't do for myself? How 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 many songs um you try to do a month? Mm, 
I don't I don't really gauge my music like that. Like, the way it works for me is if I, like, because I'm real picky with beats. I could sit here and listen to 500 beats and only, like, 10. So, um, like, when I hear a beat I'll, I'll and I instantly like it, it could I'll instantly write a song. If I'm in a certain type of mood, like if I'm happy or I'm down, I'm just like, you know what, I feel like writing some music today, then I'll write something. But more times than not, I can't really gauge it because I'm usually busy. Like right now I have free time because I'm only working one job. But before I was working three jobs, two jobs. I'm always doing multiple jobs or I'm busy doing other things. Mm -hmm. So I try to make them as much time as I can. That's cool. And I like to take time with my music anyway to make sure that it's 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 a great piece of art. I don't try yeah. to rush any of my music. Have you come out with a project? Yeah, it's called The Next Generation. It's available on. Yeah, yeah, I know. I heard you. I, yeah, I heard you saying it earlier. Can you tell the fans where they can find it at? You can find it on datpiff. Datpiff. dot com. D a t p i f f. dot com and soundcloud. dot com. Um, search up Richie B. Richie B. On Ruli. You'll see the picture of the cover art where yeah. it's a blue and white cover with just my eyes alone and a picture of me sitting down in front of a casket. Since I asked you all the questions I wanted to ask you, I'm going to ask you this one main question. Who is Richie B. Unruly? Mm, well, hmm. my You want my own description of myself or what everyone else would say? Who are you? Within yourself, I'm just a I'm a chill guy. I guess you could say I, I want to say I'm an enlightened person, but at the same time, it's like I I just want to be I'm a creative person at the same time, and it's like um I I'm easy to understand. Well, nah, not really. I'm a hard person to understand, but I understand everyone else around me, so I kind of make it like commit. It's, it's easy to be compatible with me. Um, hard worker. I try to strive for greatness in everything I do. Um, I guess I, I, I'm, I'm the guy that still has his inner child. So you know, at times I'll admit that you know I can be a little immature because I, you know, I like having fun. But at the same time, I know when to get serious. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty friendly. I'm a pretty friendly person. Sometimes I come off like unfriendly, but you know, for the most part, yeah, pretty pretty down to earth person. I'll tell you mm. how it is. If you're if you're a friend of mine right. or whether you friend or not, I'll you know, I'll give you advice if you need it. I'll look out for you if you need it. And you know, if you if you want to know the truth, I'm, that's all I will tell you is the truth. Um Richie B, do you get any advice like do you ask your dad or anything for like any advice? I had to ask you that. A few times I have. Usually it's funny because usually I'm the one that gets gets asked for advice from everyone around me. So there's been a few times where I have where I've I've, I've really been down on my luck and it's like you know I need to talk to somebody and I can't mm -hmm. talk to myself. So you know I call my pops, I call my homie Joey, and like a few others. Like sometimes even my girl, like right. they they give me a good insight. Yeah. Do 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 you think it's important? that you get advice from your dad since your dad is, like, into hip-hop and himself? Yeah, definitely. Mm. That's what's up, man. Um, What kind of music you listen to? Do you listen only to hip-hop? I mean, what kind of music you listen to? I'm um, sure the fans want to know. As of late, I've been I've been slowly becoming an eclectic listener. Like, I start listening to every genre now, like, slowly. I'm gaining a liking for different genres. Like I yeah. listen to some, I listen to some rock. I like, right. I like certain country. I'm, at, I actually, I actually love jazz and blues now. I'm thinking about getting a saxophone for mm. it, like hip hop, rap, um, reggae, dancehall, because you know that's my culture, of course. I mm -hmm. even incorporate it into my music. Um, mm -hmm. hmm. Soca. Um, yo, funny thing, I can't understand yo, I can't understand Spanish music, but that I don't know, I like it. Uh -huh. I like that. <laughs> Is that rhythm? <laughs> yeah, facts. Um, let's see. I listen to I have, music. I, I don't understand. <laughs> Go ahead, say say it again. I have a certain ear for like you know, Bollywood music sometimes. Mm, okay. Go. Oh. Um, classical music too. When I'm feeling when I'm feeling bossed up, you feel me? So mm -hmm, like, you gotta mm -hmm. sit down with a suit and a cigar, you know, <laughs> some violins, please. Right, right. Mm. 
do um do you plan on 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 like like you know how you just said you know you plan like to play the saxophone and stuff like that do you plan to go to school for it if you do uh, if you do intend to get into you know I'm um, doing instrumentals like real instruments <laughs> you know yeah um depending on how this I'm actually entering this competition for this thing called hip hop season and depending on if I come out on top my next plan is to actually buy a MacBook for myself and actually start working on producing an engineer for my own music as well as others. And then once I get that, I could save money for the sax. I'm not sure if I'll go to school for it. I could always just Google it and try to learn on my own. Because mm. I actually like the saxophone. is like one of my favorite instruments from what I've heard. Okay. All right. Look, look. Me, me as an artist and me, you know, because I am an artist and I write, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. Um, if I was to challenge you to a battle, like like a battle rap, you know, I'm I know I'm everywhere right now, you know, but it's good, it's good. Um, would you battle me if I was to like say battle me? I mean, it depends. If we do, if we're doing it for fun, then sure, I might. You mean I I don't know uh-huh. how good you are with it, shit. You you probably eat me alive, but. I still do it for the fun. If you want some, yeah, man, you know what? Yeah, let's battle for a hundred thousand. I'll tell you straight up, no, bro. I I write regular music. Oh, you do it, it? Oh, all right. So it's not about the money. Nah. It's about the passion. Right. Don't. Don't. So you would battle. Yeah, if your dad, if your dad, if your dad was to ever come to you and be like, "Son, I think I might want you to get in the ring maybe one time." You know, just you know, just to do it. You know what I mean for the passion. Would you do it? Yeah. yeah oh wow, you, that's yeah. dope. Father and son, that's dope. That's dope. You know, I only had one father. You know, like I interviewed your dad. You know, salute the Garfield, the counselor, man. Sixteen bars battle league. One of the few guys that gave me my first um, interviews. You know, definitely did when I first like got into the battle rap getting interviews and stuff like that because i always was into hip-hop you know but um i definitely salute him for that you know and uh i got an interview from him now i'm getting your interview i had a uh a father and son interview with uh the jones and his dad you know the jones is from another league he's down in las vegas somewhere you know but besides that this is dope you know because i definitely need to uh I feel like I feel like uh do you uh, I want to ask you cuz I know I know I feel like everyone should support. Do you feel that your parents or 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 anyone around you that's close to you should support you because you're a part of them or because you're doing music? I don't nah that right there depends on the it depends on each person's take. My take on it mm-hmm. is that I'm not like I said. I'm not forcing anyone to you know to support me. I'm not forcing you to look at things my way because everything is all perspective. Because I was I know people whose parents said that you know what I don't want you to do this and I don't think you can do this and they doubted them and they still came out on top. So it's really up to you if you wanna if you wanna support or not. Like I mean yeah you're my family but you you are gonna have your own perspective, your own views, your own opinion. And although it might not agree with mine, yeah, I'm still going to do what I feel is right for me because it's my life and you have your life. Right, right. Do you feel you'll be here in another five more years doing music and signed? Not signed, but independent, like having your own company? Yeah. And mm. in five or five years from now, what, be 27? Yeah, five years from now, I plan on I plan on having some type of franchise, and and my name mm. is going to be in different industries. Mm. What mark are you trying to set in hip hop? Mm. I'm trying to I'm trying to be that person that sh- that can cross bridges that shows not not one co- only one culture is designated for a certain genre. Which is why I said I incorporate my my Jamaican heritage into my music. Like I could speak mm-hmm. to you right now English, and then I could easily just jump to to me speaking Pata, which is the dialect of my people, and then you know right. 
Like, it's easy for me to do that. And you, like, most people don't put that in their, their culture into their music. Mm-hmm. You don't you don't hear a guy that's Spanish go from rapping and throw some Spanish stuff in there out of nowhere. Like, no, nah, everyone feels like everything has to be one language. One, one solid belief. thing. Yeah, one sound. Like, nah, you can you can do it how you want. So I want to be the one that basically show, like, yeah, this guy came from different upbringings, and he's bringing everything all here, and he's speaking his mind. Showing that you can do what you want to do and do what you know, what's what, what, whatever's in your mind, you can set out to be great at it. Right, right. That's that's fire, man. You know, you seem like you got a good head on your shoulders, man. I definitely, um, you know me, I have questions all day, man. I definitely, this is one question that 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 definitely like, like came across from me because you know I'll be having so many fans and so many good people hit me up, you know, and they always send me questions and stuff like that, you know. So I definitely want to um, ask you this question, man. If, I mean, God forbid, knock on wood, you know what I mean? If something was to ever happen, like, to your dad, or not ever happen to your dad, but if your dad decides he wants to retire, would you take over 16 Bars Battle League when he retire? We've actually we've actually spoken about that, and I'm I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure because it's like that. That is a lucrative business. That's something I. That's something I could do. And it's like yeah. I have yeah. lot, right now. Right, right now, I have a whole bunch. I said I want to be in a in a bunch of different um industries, and that is that is another industry I could be in. Yeah, like right now, that's hip hop. Yeah, right now I'm focused on so many different things. Right. But it's like um like if he did decide that, I guess. Right now, it would have to be an in the moment thing. But if I gave it more thought, then who knows? Right. Maybe I could. I could see myself doing it. Why not? Don't, don't. Uh, um, do you get involved um with his league? Like you know, I know y'all spoke about you know some stuff. Or like, are you involved with with the league? Like I went with him a few times to to um to record some artists. Mm-hmm, He's mm-hmm. first starting out. Um, he sent me some of his work while, like, I guess before and after editing to see what I thought about the artist, and, and I'd always give my critique on what I thought. He would tell me where he was going and whatnot. I'd give my advice or opinions on, on things. Right. That's, that's as far as I've, I've gotten in there. I've never, I've, oh, I've even tried to introduce some people I know that, that actually do battle rap. Mm. Um, to him and whatnot, and and I've I've spoken to some people like, hey, if you're interested in this, then you know, hit this guy up and my father up and whatnot. Oh, dope. That's fine. So you involved? Are you involved in it? That's 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 cool. That's definitely um, dope to know, you know, because you know, it it is it, is for me is a pleasure. I'm glad that at least you know in your mentality in your mind, if it comes down to it, you would, you know, so. That'll be fire, you know, some takeover, you know, the Battle League. That'll be dope, even though, you know, you got your own stuff going on. But that'll be dope. What's the one thing that you learned from your father? From the counselor? The biggest thing that ever affected me, that he's ever taught me, was that if you don't have something, do without it. I I literally say that to myself every day, and I've told that to a lot of my friends, because it's like I see a lot of people have like an issue with materialism. Don't get me wrong, I like nice things too, but it's like I, oh, that's one thing that always stuck with me. So it's like if I don't have something now, like there's always a way to get it. So for right now, I don't need to force it. I just gotta deal with what I do have. Work with that until I could get what I do want. Mm. Is unity a big thing? Yeah, definitely. Everyone like I don't I don't like the fact that people are so separated. Everyone is so mm-hmm. to themselves because it's like you see in every business, every market, and even in history itself, it took people it took for people to join together for something big and amazing to happen. Like, you can do it by yourself, but it's way harder, and I'm dealing with that now. 
I'm definitely dealing with that now. And a lot of people say, hey, you know, people can come to me like, yo, join my group, join this. And I'm just like, you know, not right now. I'm 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 good because I'd rather I'd rather be in a group where it's like, you know, I know where everyone's mentality is, I know where the mm-hmm. vibes are because you can't just you can't just unify with any anybody willy nilly because sometimes that can even fall apart. Look at certain bands, rock bands. How many times have you seen bands get disbanded because of that? Nah, I wanna have like my like Fab even said in his song, man, I'd rather ten lions than a hundred sheep. Mm-hmm. So like everyone, I feel like yo coming together definitely has a bigger outcome on everything. It, it makes everything, it makes everything vibe. That's how you spread more peace and love. Right, right, right. Cause you know unity is a big thing. You know um, that most people just go bypass. You know they so much stuck into their own ways. They don't want to. Um, Unite, you know, and it is important. Unity is important, you know. Um, us as humans need to unite, you know. Um, even at, at the worst point in life, we still gotta unite, you know. I want to ask you, man. Um, <laughs> I'm sure it does, but I gotta ask you personally: Do racism exist in this world, bro? It does, but you know, as much as a lot of people don't want to admit it. Like, it's still there, whether, you know, people do it, people do it on the low, or they're just outright with it. It's more on the low, more so than anything, because, uh, you know, I guess people know that it's now socially unacceptable, so they won't just come out, they won't just come out and do it. And it's like, there's been times I've had to, I've had to deal with that. There's times when I feel like that's what it is, but, you know, I don't want to jump the gun and say that. Right. Because I felt, I felt wronged in situations where I was just like, wow, I've seen other people from, you know, different races get treated this way. And, I, I you know, I just try to classify it as favoritism because I'm not just I'm not going to say it as anything else. But it definitely does exist. Like there's a lot of social wrongs that's happening in the world that a lot of people won't own up to. Mm. Man, I want to take this time right here to really say it. Straight up, it's an honor, and I appreciate you so much for taking the time to actually doing this special interview with me. You know, um, it's definitely important for you, for your resume. You know, it, it, it is more, you know, on your look. It also helps me on my look, too, because it shows that I keep working with artists and keep doing what I do for the uh Hip hop community, I really want to appreciate you, man, and big, big, big shout outs to you, man, and shout outs to your dad, man, for real, for real, man. And I don't say this because I know him, no, like, like he's a good dude, and like I say, he's one of the first guys that gave me my first interviews in this battle rap community, along with like two, three other people, you know. And so I, I don't forget where I came from. That's one thing. You know, that's one thing also. Never forget where you come from. Truth. My father always taught me that too. Always stick to your roots and, and stick to who who was with you from the um the from the get go. That's right, that's right, man. You got any shout outs? Uh yeah, actually. Well shout out on my father, you know, the counselor sixteen bars battle league. Shout outs to you for your Latino battle league. Shout out to my boy Joey Black and T on the higher content dot com, the blog spot. Um, shout out to you know, Most High, New Breed Entertainment, Ace, J V. Um shout out to everyone that's actually out there doing something for themselves. You know, trying to work hard or something, trying to get someplace and not trying to be lazy. All the right. kings and queens in the world. Right. I wanna let the world know one more time. Where they can find you at on the social media? I'm on Facebook at Richie B on Ruli. On Instagram and Twitter, Jen Rummy, G Y N underscore R U M M Y. You can catch me on that Piff and SoundCloud. Um, Richie B on Ruli there. That's yeah, it's pretty much where I'm at, man. Is it? That's what's up, man. Y'all heard him, man. Y'all can go follow him. Send him a friend request. You know what I mean? He, he socializes with his fans. I definitely appreciate him. Good combo. I am music. I am TV. 
Salute to my family, Latino Battle League. Salute to Garfield, 16 Bars, Battle League, The Counselor. That's right. Salute to Brother Jeff, West Side Noise. Salute to The Jones, my man out in A-Hat. You know, he's from the A-Hat Battle League. Salute to old the A-Hat. They always support the movement. And y'all already know we out of here, brother. Peace.